I've always won, and I'm going to continue to win. And that's the way it is. Donald Trump has survived his impeachment trial, no surprises there, and has been acquitted of both articles of impeachment. Article 1, Abuse of Power. That was the one where he was accused of soliciting the interference of a foreign government, namely Ukraine, in the 2020 US presidential election. He was found not guilty by a margin of 52 to 48. Article 2, Obstruction of Congress. This is where he was accused of instructing executive branch agencies and officials not to comply with lawful subpoenas served by the House of Representatives. He was found not guilty by a margin of 53 to 47. These were both well short of the 67-vote supermajority required to convict the President. Does this mean President Trump is innocent? It depends on who you talk to. An impeachment trial is not a legal trial, but a political process. If you talk to the President or his political allies, they will claim that these results prove his innocence. Others, even some members of his own party, claim that President Trump probably did do the things that he was accused of, but that those things do not warrant him being removed from office. If you talk to many of the Democrats, they will claim that the process was unjust, and therefore the results are invalid. Can President Trump be impeached again? Sure can, but it won't happen. If this impeachment trial has shown anything, it has shown that there are too many Republicans that are loyal to Trump, and they will certainly not entertain the idea of another impeachment. Unless, of course, Trump publicly does something completely ridiculous and illegal in the lead-up to the 2020 presidential election. But it won't happen. What about the witnesses in the impeachment trial? As you may have heard, the Democrats tried to call new witnesses to the trial, but they were blocked by the Republican majority. Specifically, they were trying to call President Trump's former national security advisor, John Bolton, who apparently has information about Trump's Ukraine involvement. Recent news suggests that the House will still push to subpoena Bolton over these events. Even if he isn't subpoenaed, he might voluntarily share the information in an interview or on social media. Will any of this hurt Trump at the 2020 election? It's hard to say. It's possible that the public will punish the Democrats for going ahead with an impeachment trial that half of American voters disagreed with. This might result in a massive win for Trump. But then again, the Republicans might also be punished for blindly following their leader and blocking key witnesses in the trial. Either way, it's fun times ahead for American politics. Mm -hmm.